Hello friends and lovers, welcome to this Bellatro over explained video. So I'm going to go over what you need to know in order to beat Bellatro on the basic difficulty with a fairly basic deck. If you just want to know what's a good deck to beat the game with, honestly they all work pretty well. There's a couple that are more challenging than others. I do think for me a favorite of mine is definitely the Magic deck. Highly recommend that, but I guess for a more vanilla experience we're just going to use the blue deck where you get plus one hand every round. So this video, I'm going to talk very precisely through all of my actions as best that I can and all the decisions that I try to make. So it's going to be kind of slow. We're not going to get to endless just because this will probably take a while as is. I may do a part two if y'all want to see it. Make sure you let me know if you do want to see the continue run in endless and then that, that could probably be it over explaining to how to do well in endless. But nevertheless, this run is kind of going to be set up as if we want to go far in endless and try to get the best thing so let's just get the run started and see what's going on we're not going to use the seed of course so i'm not going to know what's going to happen here i have no idea what's going on so do we skip or not is always going to be a very big question and i see a lot of beginning players not really knowing when to skip what's a uh what's a good skip etc cetera, etc cetera. these are actually pretty solid skips though i gotta say after defeating the boss you get 15 dollars uh, so one of the big things we are going to have to play around is the interest in trying to get an, an economy going so that we can generate money every round more than just what you even get from interest if you don't know you get up to five dollars of interest uh uh for every five sorry you get five dollars of interest if you hold 25 dollars. so you get one dollar of interest for every five that you hold in between the rounds uh so this does mean that we don't get to see the shop though if you do this so this would earn us the 15 dollars after the boss this would earn us 10 dollars because we would have skipped here as well this is i guess you could call it greedy because actually beating a boss with no jokers or anything could be quite challenging here i guess you could say but this will definitely set us up very very well for after the boss i think we should be okay with five hands three discards on this difficulty i think at the higher difficulties that might be more of a challenge so what kind of suits what kind of hands do you want to go for i guess not suits what kind of hands do you want to go for well first let's just analyze what we have we are very close to a straight already king queen jack 10 so that's very good you can always just click on the suit slash rank button to kind of quickly analyze what we have in place here so we do have a two pair now two pair tends to be a trap unless you have special jokers that are available to you that actually make two pairs stronger like they specifically mentioned two pairs the trousers or pants or whatever the heck they're called is really the only one that kind of of note that makes a lot of sense otherwise two pair is a really bad hand to play because it's worth very very few points you can actually look at that all right here when you click on the run info button it's just worth so so little and it doesn't scale well and there's not a lot of jokers that work well with it and it's actually kind of hard to reliably get a two pair in the late game so we want to form our deck to make it so it's easier to play the better hands so we're kind of late game aiming for like four or five of a kind which isn't even on the list yet or at least flushes because flushes are much easier to manipulate in Bellatro because you can go ahead and change the suits much more easily than you can change anything else in the game but anyway let's concentrate on what we got here right now straight would be quite nice here i think that could work out it would allow us to discard this jack since it's debuffed anyway right but that does mean we have to hold the king to try to make that happen now there's a little bit of a consideration here should i which one should i hold instead you know what i mean let's see so that gives me two clubs and a spade this gives me uh one spade two clubs basically so kind of doesn't matter you can peek at your deck here which i'm probably going to do a lot to just kind of get a glimpse if you look at the left you can just quickly see how many of each suit are left you can see of how many of each card are left too i think going for a straight is okay here straights are worth a decent amount of points but it's going to take at least two hands to beat this more more likely going to be three since we have no jokers to help us yet okay let's see what we got oh, well kind of got i don't know if you'd call it punished or anything like that but we got not rewarded i guess you could say i think you do gotta dive back into it and just pray we get the either the ace or the nine so for the straight okay we still did not get it <laughs> this is when i start regretting all of life's choices you know what i mean and you just gotta double down so it's probably gonna take a few hands it's not the end of the world though because we have so much money awaiting us later on i think i might play this nine instead and we'll hold a couple diamonds and i don't know maybe we'll get a flush or something like that i know that means that this is going to be worth less it just means they don't give us chips though it's not the end of the world 
this is probably going to take three or four hands now at this point. So now we just got to play what we get. But sometimes you don't really just want to play whatever you have, you know? Sometimes you just want to play a bad hand in order to try to get something better. So for instance, we have a Jack 432 of spades here. So we can get rid of all this, which means we only score a high card for a nine, which is certainly not amazing. Now you could play this two pair, but I don't think you want to do that. I think that's one of the traps that can happen in the game where you think you just want to play the best hand that you have, but sometimes you have to use your hands as discards. In fact, I think more often than not, you do want to use your hands as discards. You do not want to use them to play just a pair or a two pair or possibly even a three of a kind. Okay, but can we actually survive this right now is the real question because we, we got kind of roughed up here. We don't have much. There is one king left in the deck. Let's see. So we're not close to any kind of hand. We do have a pair of kings. You can go ahead and peek what that would be worth here. So it's going to be worth 60 points, which puts us at 554, which is certainly not astounding, but all it would take is another pair. You always want to make sure when you play your hands that you use uh, the rest of your hand as a potential discard. So what I'm thinking here is that we just we, we do play the pair and we just drop the hearts. There is a seven. There is a six still in the deck. There are no more threes. So that's definitely not good. There are three aces left in the deck, though, which is actually kind of interesting. There are no more threes, so we could drop that. And holding a debuffed ace probably does not feel good, but at this point, it doesn't take much for us to win. Okay, this two pair will finally get us out of here. That was painful, though. That was tough. It was spicy. We chose to take a risk at the start by doing those skips and earning a lot of money and setting ourselves off. But now we got to make sure that we spend. We cannot be too greedy henceforth. So welcome to the shop. This is going to be probably a much more elaborate thing. We kind of got to take a few things, but we don't want to spend too much. We would prefer to stay above $25 when we leave the shop, or if we somehow know we'll be at $25 before the end of the next round, you know? Okay, so paintbrush is absolutely amazing voucher to have offered here, and the amount of money that we have will allow us to do it, but you don't have to buy it right away. Right now, we need score from our jokers more than anything. These will be offered, each voucher is offered for the next three rounds, but if you skip, then you might not be able to do it if you skip too much, right? We don't even know what the voucher was in the previous uh, blind, per se, right? Because uh, we just did a double skip, fought the boss. We just know that paintbrush is here now. Paintbrush is definitely something that we want, but what I guess what I'm trying to say is we don't need it right right now. We can wait around and earn some interest. So we have delayed gratification, earn $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. It's also foil. So it gives us plus 50 chips, which is okay. It's fine. This is not an amazing joker, but it will help us generate some economy. This does mean that we do not discard anymore and while we have it, for the most part, unless like we absolutely have to. I think it is worth grabbing now because it will get us some money. So even if I play a hand and play a bad hand in order to try to draw more cards, we'll have made more money because what a hand is worth one dollar, but now discards are worth two dollars. You know what I mean? So hopefully it won't be too punishable. So if we're ahead in score and we don't have to make very elaborate hands, then delayed gratification will pay off here. Foil will definitely help. Greedy Joker played cards with diamond suit give plus four molt win scored. So that's actually very good to help us through this early game. Now you might be wondering about these standard packs. Standard packs can have just regular playing cards, but they could be enhanced. They could have seals on them. They could have additions on them. And I guess I should I'll, I'll be quick, I'll be quick, but there are three types of buffs for all the different cars. Let me see if I can quickly find this. You have seals, you have additions, and you have enhancements. Enhancements are what you see here. Bonus, Malt, Wild, Glass. These all come from tarot cards, basically. Then you got the diff four different seals here. You got the purple, you got the red. That's probably the big one. You got the gold seal. Purple's a big deal, too. Blue is bad, unfortunately. You're welcome to look at these in your own collection, of course, if you're curious about them. And then you got the ores. These come from spectral packs. Uh, the seals also come from spectral packs for the most part, too. Now, a card can have all three of these, but only one of each. So one card could have all three of these different upgrades, I guess you could say. And so if these packs could have cards that have all three of those different upgrades. So you just don't know what you're going to get. It's a total crapshoot, you know what I mean? These are definitely nice to have, but you don't want to be going for them when you don't have a lot of cash to spend and a lot of cash flow. So we don't really want to roll. We should be pretty comfortable at this point in time. How do you know when you're comfortable for the next round? This kind of just comes from playing the game and just getting to know it and knowing what kind of score you need. I can't, I don't know if I can properly 
teach that per se, you know. I think that just is gonna have to come from playing the game a bit, uh, for the most part. So skip. We got the Mega Celestial Pack. Choose up to choose two of up to five planet cards to be used immediately. Not a very good skip. We always want to check the boss. I may forget from time to time. I still do plenty of times. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. That one's not too brutal, I don't think, here. And with the next skip, Garbage Tag gives $1 per unused a discard this run. So we're probably not skipping anything here. Good to know for the Painted Voucher. We can't look that stuff up ahead of time, though. All right. So we have Greedy Joker. We have Delayed Gratification. What kind of hands do we have here? We have nothing. <laughs> Remember, we don't want to discard is a pair with a diamond in it going to be worth enough points i could quickly do the math for us here so it's 20 70 times 6. 70 times 6 is not going to be enough points okay so we should probably just plan to play a bad hand and kind of see what we get do we want to discard four cards or five cards we'll discard all five i was thinking of holding a heart but i don't know why i would so I guess I'm just going to hold the highest card here because the aces are worth 11 chips. There's really no other reasons to hold anything else in particular at this moment. When you play a high card and you have something like this, uh, the diamonds that aren't the actual highest card will not get the greedy joker buff, I'm afraid, if you don't know. Now then, is this two pair going to be enough that we have going on here? I don't see anything else better. So this two pair, here's what I was talking about, I guess. If I, I can go ahead and include this two, but it won't get scored. Therefore, it won't work with greedy joker but it will get discarded so you'd probably want to discard something else that is not super useful here i believe this is enough points but i guess i'm not sure it was not enough points <laughs> all right we got another two pair with a couple of diamonds in it though at least to get us out of here i remember when i said things kind of changed when we got delayed gratification here uh when it comes to playing bad hands now the goal here is to get way ahead of our score uh, so we're scoring very high so that we don't really need to rely on discards to get very strong. We got the egg. Gains $3 of sell value at the end of the round. This is almost always worth it if you got an empty slot because you'll make your money back really quickly. Sale value of jokers is half of whatever you paid for it unless you get like clearance sale, which is a voucher that discounts things, which actually reduces the sale value of jokers too. So you'll get your money back from this very easily because this already sells for two. And if you sell it next round, you made a dollar, you know, unless it kills your interest. But even then, like you probably just take it. The sun converts up to three selected cards to hearts. We're not really interested in that. So these are not actually great. Um, we can go ahead and take the egg for now. We're going to open our kind packs because our kind packs, which contain the tarot cards, are just incredibly important to manipulating the, the deck. What I mean by that is changing the cards in your deck to be what you want by either changing their suit, their rank, giving them enhancements, whatever. These, This is the key to doing really well in Bellatro, I think, is to utilize these tarot cards. Standard packs and celestial packs are way less important than that. Spectral packs are kind of a league of their own, though, also. So a celestial pack, you get to choose one of three planet cards, but we don't even know really what kind of hands we're going for yet. I guess you could say we're going for flushes with uh, diamonds, right? Just to get greedy joker value, but that's really hard to do if we can't discard because of delayed gratification. So we're sort of all over the roadmap. You usually want to buy our kind of packs first because they could have things like the hermit tarot card, which can double your money, but only up to $20. There's also temperance, which is a joker, a very powerful joker that gives you the sell value of all your jokers, which can generate a lot of money, too. All right. So we have Empress enhances two selected cards to Molt. So they have plus four Molt each. Hangman destroys two cards. Not terrible. And convert up to three cards to Diamonds. I mean, that's going to be the choice, I think, for us here. Pretty straightforward, right? Convert more cards to Diamonds. That lets Greedy Joker kind of work out for us better and be more consistent, hopefully. Empress is not totally wrong. You could throw it on the ace, but we only have what the one diamond in hand here. So it's not it's not great. Hanged man, we probably don't want it quite yet. So I think this is the, the right play to say the least. I think it is time to buy the paintbrush. It'll help us, you know, re get more money from delayed gratification. Hopefully we don't have to play as many garbage hands. And thus this will help us uh, basically stay alive also. Now, that does mean we don't hit $25, so we don't get full interest, but we're pretty close to it. We're definitely not going to skip here. We earn more money by simply playing the hand than we do from uh, skipping. Okay, so what do we got here? Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, I see, and there's three diamonds in there. That's pretty solid. 
I'm going to say that's the best, right? Because we don't have a flush of diamonds. It is close. I don't know if that's enough points off the top of my noodle. And I'm not going to sit here and do out the math very often on y'all. It is. So we'll hold on to the egg. There will come a time, though. There will come a time. See, we're already earning quite a bit of money because of delayed grant, you know? All right, so the sun is back, but we don't really want to convert cards to hearts at all, right? That's just not what we're doing. We're going to let the game kind of steer us in the right direction. Business card. Played face cards have a 1 in 2 chance to give $2 when scored. This is not one that I love as is presented at face value, no pun intended. It's just a 50% chance to get a couple bucks for each played face cards. It's kind of not great. I think it's not really worth it. We think, again, we want to get further ahead of our score and make it easier to simply end each round with one hand. I guess I could say that that is sort of the goal to end each round with one hand right now, you know? And set ourselves up for a long future. So I think what we do is here, we roll. Boom. I think uh, often players are scared of rolling and spending money on rolls, but earning a lot of money and rolling a lot to get good jokers and good cards and whatever you know that is sort of how you're going to get big on endless in particular you know you're just going to need to do that a lot but you need a lot of money in order to roll a lot right ride the bus plus one multiple consecutive hand played without a scoring face card this isn't a terrible joker but it does mean that it requires commitment and i am very scared of commitment especially in this run not playing any face cards is very particular especially when we're using delayed gratification it also means that you kind of it's going to hurt to get rid of it, you know what I mean? What's that term? Sunk cost fallacy, where, you know, you, you get this thing up to 20 or 30, and then it feels like you never... How can you ever let it go, you know what I mean? It also kind of means that you play a lot of hands, potentially. It's not amazing, and I don't think we really needed to beat the white stake, at least. There might be other circumstances where it would be kind of necessary. I think Empress is a nice tarot card we can pick up along the way, though. Do we roll again? If we roll again, we'll be down to $27. So if we do buy anything after rolling, it'll put us below 25. We can hold on to egg. We can be kind of picky here. We don't have to rush necessarily. I think we don't bother buying these standard packs until we get a little bit better. Unfortunately, we got offered possibly one of the worst jokers ever. Create a tarot card if poker hand contains an ace and a straight. It's just too, it's just too much work. It's too difficult to make happen. He has this one selected card into Lucky, so there's a 1 in 5 chance to get plus 20 molt from that card, and a 1 in 15 chance to win $20. I like Lucky. Maybe I'm overvaluing it, but I think it's okay. There's uh, some synergies behind it, too. Cards drawn face down after each hand played. This actually could be a little spicy for us. Okay. So we have a 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So we do have a low straight. It's not super impressive. I think I would be happy to why don't we give this one lucky and i'm gonna go ahead and impress a couple of diamonds now just because we're probably stuck with greedy joker for a very long time i know i'm not doing a card that i'm using at this moment but i'm kind of okay with that we're just using it you don't want to hold um well actually no sometimes you want to hold tarot cards but not all the time it just really depends sometimes you might want to hold them to make sure you get past a boss like this one quickly right uh, sometimes you might want to get rid of them to make space up here in your consumable area so you can cycle through more of them as well. Now, uh, who knows if Lucky will go off. Let's keep an eye out here. I don't think we got anything out of it. Boom! Wow! <laughs> Let's go ahead and pretend that I uh, planned that. All right. Okay, moving on. What do we got ourselves here? We got Misprint. So Misprint is semi-straightforward. It gives you a random molt between 0 and, I think, 23? randomly 23 is the number could be any time every hand you play is just changes you you won't you won't know ahead of time how much it's going to give you shoot the moon plus 13 molt for each queen held in hand i don't like this joker just because i actually think that is a reasonable about amount of molt but it's just really hard to hold on to queens in particular uh in our current circumstances i don't love it i think misprint is more straightforward it's easier to use it works every time except for when it scores zero in which case i just pull my hair out some more we got another celestial pack i don't think we'll be buying it here but i do like misprint why don't we just go ahead and grab it now we do have the egg to sell we're kind of waiting for the moment where like okay i need the money from egg or i need the space before we sell it you know let's go ahead and open the arcana pack also if we get into a good reason to hold on to egg is in case we run into the temperance 
tarot card, which gives you money based on the sale value of all your jokers. Egg will boost that a lot. You know, you know, you know. Okay, what do we got here? Hero enhances two cards so they get plus 30 extra chips. Creates up to two random tarot cards from the Emperor. I think we're, that's the one we're taking. Or the Fool will copy the Empress and give us another one of those. I guess that we need to kind of start discussing chips versus malt. And I guess to simplify things, every run is going to eventually come down to if you want to get far and endless, you're going to want to get times multiplier. So some plus malt, but then eventually times multiplier, which you haven't seen. This is plus multiplier. Some jokers will multiply your malt, though, and that's where it will always end up going. Chips can be fine early on and potentially helpful. There are a few jokers that are actually quite strong when it comes to chips, but for all but one deck, chips are probably going to take a backseat to malt most of the time. To know how what you should do here, you want to take whatever is the bigger percentage increase. For instance, if you get offered, let's say, 50 chips, let's let's say like you're about to play a straight flush and somehow you have the choice between 50 chips or 8 molt. Which one do you take? You might say, oh, well, 50 chips. 50 is a bigger number than 8, so I'm going to do that. The way you need to figure that out, though, is 50 is 50% 50 of 100, so it's a 50% increase. 8 is 100% of 8. Therefore, it's a 100% increase, and that's the way you need to consider these things, basically. Let's go ahead and take Emperor, now that I've kind of explained that. And we'll see what we get out of this. Help me out here. The Sun is not very good. Converts to Hearts. The Magician is fine, as we know, as we've discussed. Next up, we got Hieroglyph. Minus one ante, minus one hand per ten round. So you go back in time, and you're going to get more time, basically, in order to kind of build up your deck build up your jokers etc etc i i always battle with myself whether this is worth it in some instances but i feel like in pretty much every instance having three more rounds is almost always going to be worth it if you if the difference was between having four and five hands chances are i'd lose the run anyway like if i needed that one more hand because i'm, lo I'm losing it here i probably would have lost anyway we do lose a little bit of money one dollar every single round but I, I personally think it's very, very worth it. Let's grab this, since it still keeps us above 25. I think we just sell this, to be honest. There is something to be said about holding tarot cards like this, because whatever you have in your consumable area cannot appear in the shop or in the packs. Why don't we actually just go then here? Our Joker order currently does not matter. Everything is fine from that standpoint. Doubles your money coming up. We are going to consider that, that's for sure. It goes up to $40, so it might be a good time to sell the egg, but we'll see. It kind of depends what happens. Okay, we got a two pair. I cannot get a flush out of the diamonds, but the two pair is probably worth quite a bit, honestly. I would like to magician something here if possible, though. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to magician any diamonds. Is there any other hand that we could play here? No. No straights, no flushes, only a two pair. Okay. I'm going to have to magician something that is not a diamond then. I do think it is worth it. We score more than enough here, though. Just to get the lucky in play. And who knows, maybe we'll win $20. That's the hope, right? Did not happen. We scored plenty. I think a lucky might have triggered or something. I'm not sure, though. We get full money from delayed gratification. $17. Lovely. So now that we kept the sun, because it didn't really serve much of a purpose, because converting cards to hearts isn't going to help us at this very moment, uh, it does mean when I open these Arcana Packs, the sun will not be here. It cannot be here. It shall not be here. The world and star. Ooh. Temperance gives us $18, partially in help from the egg, which is 11 of those $18. We also got the star here. And I guess the way I need to ask myself, would I pay $18 to pick up the star tarot card from the shop? And I think the answer is no. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take Temperance here. I think that is the right way to go. We got another star. We also got Priestess Crease up the two random planet cards. Random planet cards are just very low value. They are just very undependable. Do not recommend. Whereas converting three cards to diamonds will be very helpful to us. We're kind of pushing the deck into one suit, as you may have noticed. Really just because of this Joker. That's okay. Doesn't mean we keep the Joker forever. But even either way, having... Your deck all in one suit should be quite helpful most of the time. Now, you do got to pay attention to the bosses about this, though. We can spend a little bit more even with the double money coming up here. 
So, uh, Ride the Bus, we already discussed. Splash, every played card counts in scoring. It's just a pretty weak Joker overall. I don't think it really needs to be considered here at, at, by any stretch. We're quite a bit ahead of our score. So, let's take the Empress, which is fine. And I think Hallucination is okay. One in two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is opened. It does incentivize us to open more booster packs, but I think that's okay. Especially if we get some temperance, you know what I mean? That's okay to carry right now, but it's probably going to be one of the first things to go when we need more score, which probably won't be too far into the future. We have minus one hand size coming up. Not too scary. Why don't we skip to get $40 out of that? I'm going to call that value. Unfortunately, we do not have a lot going on here. We only have one diamond in hand. Hmm, we do not have a flush. We do not have a straight. All we have is a stinky dinky pair, basically. So what do we want to do then? We don't have more of any particular rank in the deck, uh, but we just do have a lot of diamonds. So I guess I will hold the five just because it is a pair. We will discard pretty much everything else. We are discarding four spades, I admit here. I'm not going to bother to Empress. I suppose in this instance. I, I mean, there's no way, even if I impress this pair, that it's going to be worth enough points. Or is it? It could be. It kind of depends which way misprint goes. I guess we don't really know. But I guess I'd rather make sure Empress hits at least one other diamond anyway, too. So why don't we play a, a bad hand here? Let that pop off there. Possible it was enough. We do have a full house. Let's just go ahead and power these two diamonds that we're using right here, which is possibly overkill. Could have done the jack instead, maybe. But this is fine. Lovely. Full houses are worth many more points. Egg is still going up. It's up to $14 now. Okay. Now suddenly we have $98 and it happened so fast. And it did, it did, it did. Okay. Jupiter is actually probably a planet card we really want right now. Although with delayed gratification and disabling our discards in a sense... It's possibly not amazing, but it, it is it is probably worthwhile taking here for just $3. Walkie Talkie each played 10 or 4 gives plus 10 chips and plus 4 malt. It's not a horrible joker, but I don't think we need it um, right now. So we do want to find out if we get any tarot cards from Hallucination from opening these bad boys too. Blank we will discuss in a moment, I suppose. These are, that, these are mega, so you get to choose two. Yeah, I'll open them both. We got Jupiter... That's okay. Hallucination gave us nothing. We will level up the flesh again. And we kind of want to think about what hands are we most likely going to play after the flesh. So we got two pair, three of a kind, pair, high card. Um, probably... I would probably do two pair here. You know, all three of these scale, actually all four of these scale pretty slowly. I guess three of a kind scales a little bit better since it's plus two molt each. But uh, I think two pair happens quite, quite often. Is that our most played hand? Uh, it is currently. So I think it you know, that does make sense. Okay, let's crack the Mega Buffoon. We did get something. We got the Moon. Converts up to three selected cards to clubs. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um. All right, so we got a lot of choices to think about here. That's for sure. Plus three Molt when any booster pack is skipped. So th this is a booster pack, what we're opening right now. Standard packs, spectral packs, arcana packs, and buffoon packs. So you'd have to buy a lot of packs and then skip them on purpose in order to boost red card. It's not a horrible joker. You need a lot of money, though. And it's kind of anti-fun, honestly. I don't think it's a bad joker. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. Plus 20 multi if played hand contains a four of a kind. Too hard to get going. Reward isn't that amazing. Smear joker. Hearts and diamonds count as the same suit. This would enable us to play... Um, flushes way more easily if we were to take this, right? Uh, and also would allow us to use the sun to benefit from. Now, late game, you don't really want a utility joker like this that doesn't help you score. Uh, it could help us a little bit right now, but I don't, I actually don't know if it's 100% worth it. Uh, I'm not positive here. Delayed gratification is giving us about $6.00 per round. If we got rid of it, we could take Golden Joker, which would allow us to discard. We'd lose $2 per round. We do lose 50 chips, which isn't nothing. So what's worth more? $2 in discarding, or $2 in, or, yeah, <laughs> two more dollars in 50 chips, or two less dollars in discarding. 
I don't know. I, I think Golden Joker is just way simpler than having to work with this bad boy, honestly. Now, we got to choose two here, but I don't love them. I, I mean, most people would think I'm crazy for not taking Smeared, but the truth is, I just don't think that we need it. And eventually, we're going to want to get rid of it anyway, is the way that I'm looking at things. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it. We're going to sell it. And then we're going to take this. We are a little bit ahead still, so we can afford to do this. At least that's what it feels like. So Golden Joker we're earning us a little bit of money. Now we can discard. That feels a lot better, right? Blank Voucher. What does it do? It's because it claims to do nothing. Cl bank, blah, blank Voucher. After you buy 10 of them, you will unlock the ability to get the Tier 2 version of it. Let me just show it to you in the collection here, I suppose. Because we get this question very often, as you can imagine. Because the game is not straightforward about it. So the tier two is antimatter plus one joker slot. In order to get this any tier two offered here, you will have need to have bought the tier one. So basically we spent ten dollars to get nothing, and we hope that antimatter shows up in a future blind. And so we get a free plus one joker slot. Well, a ten dollar joker slot, I should say. So twenty dollars for a potential joker slot if we're lucky. Lucky is the word because there's a lot of vouchers in the game, so you just might not never see it. Might not ever see it, I should say. We still have 75 bucks. Let me spend a touch here just to take a look. Plus 100 chips if played and contains a straight. Not really going for that. Plus 40 chips for each remaining discard. That is a lot. If we had kept delayed gratification, I would probably deem that worthy over something like misprint. But I think at this point or this junction, we kind of don't need it and I don't love it. Um, Why don't we just roll again? Plus one hand size. It's kind of just weak. Not, not worth replacing anything over. A pair is well, like I don't really plan to play a pair. I know it's only three bucks, and you might be saying, "Well, why don't you just take it?" You might play a pair. Eh, it's just not important, honestly. Played face cards give plus four mult when scored. It's eh, it's still just kind of nothing, and obviously plus four multiplier from this is not very special either. Seems like a good time to continue. Plus fifteen dollars. I think at this point we don't actually want that. We get nine dollars from Golden Joker and interest. So I'm only losing six by not doing this. And I kind of just want to see more shops right now. Boss coming up is play only one hand. Now that we can discard, I don't think I'm too worried about that. Not that there's a whole lot that we could do about it. It's probably a good time to start sorting by suit and not really paying attention to any too much about anything else. I do have a straight here. But we kind of might as well just play a suit so that we get full greedy value. You know what I mean? Four or five. Make sure we play the card that has molt on it, even if it's worth a few less chips. The order of the cards doesn't matter in this circumstances. If it does come up, I will let you know. But for this, it should be fine. I don't know if this will actually be enough. Oh, okay, we're actually further ahead than I would have guessed. It took me a while to get to this round. It was a big shop, right? We're going over everything. We're trying. If you got questions, make sure you let me know in the comments. Uh, feel free to tell me if I skipped over anything, glossed over anything, didn't discuss something enough, blah, 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 blah. Mystic Summit, plus 15 multiple and zero discards are remaining. I don't really love Mystic Summit. It's sort of just a pain. It's a fine joker. It's a, one of those just middle of the road. Okay, we'll help you out a little bit. Ramen times two mult loses 0 0.01 mult per card discarded. It's actually quite good for now. We do have to ask ourselves if we need it. We have hallucination, so we actually want to get rid of one of these in case we get a tarot card from it, from opening these bad boys. So let's open the Arcana pack first. I don't want to sell them both because I want to ensure that the sun would not appear in this pack yet again. Uh, but we got the Emperor out of it. That's nice. Wheel of Fortune, one in four chance to add an addition to a random Joker. Yep, we all know that's a lie. It's not actually a lie. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So, what do we want to do here? I guess I will convert some cards to hearts for now. You might ask why. And I guess it's because of jokers like Fortune Teller that scale off of used tarot cards. No, I've changed my mind, actually. I think I would just rather have the dollar. This way we can use Emperor while this stuff is all still here. I can potentially use the contents of Emperor here as well. Lovers to convert a card to another suit. So I guess we can throw that on the ace. And uh, that way that can count as a diamond, thus greedy will pop. Just as enhances one selected card into a glass card, times two molt, but one to four chance to destroy the card. Very strong for endless, not super useful at this junction, I would say, though. So you can't have Magician and Wild, because those are both enhancements. So you cannot have that on that ace. So I'm thinking here, 
it's probably not a terrible time for a hanged man on a couple of low cards uh, from suits that we do not desire. I think that's probably the right choice. We're going to hold justice. We don't really want it to appear that bad. Let's open up this, see what we get. We did get, ooh, nice. We got the star from a hallucination. Lovely. And we got Jupiter offered for another flush power up. Flushes are definitely old reliable, I think, here. For sure. Do we really want to hold the egg at this point in time? It could generate lots of money if we get temperance offered often. Does that happen, though? I don't know. Probably not. Doesn't do much otherwise. We, I kind of want the ramen is, I guess, what I'm thinking here. I don't really want to get rid of hallucination. I think we can simply rip the egg. And we can look for better economy things. Because right now, these economy things are not amazing. I will throw out one roll here. Ooh, this is what's interesting. All face cards become gold cards when played. They don't even have to score. Um, and if you just simply play a card to kind of discard it, and it's a face card, it will turn to gold. And gold cards earn $3 if it's held in the hand at the end of the round. So that round, you're not going to get anything out of it. You could convert all your cards to gold cards. There's some interesting combinations with this. Most definitely. And I guess it could earn you some money. I don't necessarily think it's like, oh, you, you gotta take it in this particular instance, though. Luchador, sell this card to disable the current boss blind, so you'd have to sell it when you enter the boss. I'm not worried about that boss, though. I think we can skip both of these, honestly. I know, like, I'm holding a lot of money, so why don't I just roll? I guess because I'm not, like, in a huge rush, I guess, at this point in time. kind of want to take it easy. Maybe I could be faster about um, getting some of these combos going on right but i don't think it's necessary i will hold justice here still my sort of by suit i am uh just because i don't want to appear in the shop but i don't really want to use it right now i don't really want to break any cards by accident i could just use it to use it but it doesn't seem necessary here this is going to score plenty if we can avoid discarding i will but you got to do what you got to do when it comes to the Ramas. So this is what I was talking about earlier times two molt this is an extremely powerful effect and it's a hundred percent necessary in order to get very far in Endless, and possibly even just to win Anti-8, which is the current goal of this video, right? So Ramen, I mean, times two Molt is going to be very powerful, so it doubles whatever Greedy Joker gives us on top. It also doubles whatever Misprint gives us. This is where Joker Order does matter. You want to make sure your times multiplier is to the right to the things that give you plus multiplier. But there's also a lot more things going on here than just that, I'm afraid, because... um. There are a few different ways that you need to understand that the game scores. So the first things that happen when a scoring hand occurs is that it counts everything you played in the hand. Then anything, any held in hand triggers, such as steel, uh, will trigger after that. Then the jokers up top will go. So greedy joker triggers on played cards. So in other words, greedy joker is going to go off before ramen, before misprint, no matter what you do. Because these all trigger after the played cards. Because you get the plus four molt for each diamond as you play them. So it doesn't matter if you put Greedy Joke over here. I mean, I guess for habit, I like to have it to the left of the ramen. But it doesn't actually matter in this instance. Because you get the multiplier when it's counting up the cards. Misprint does matter, though. Because it only comes when it goes out and triggers the Jokers. The Jokers can be triggered from left to right. Hallucination and Golden Joker do not matter here, though. I hope that made sense. It is a little complicated, I admit. All right, so we got the Hermit, double the money. Okay, yep. <laughs> Take. Easy. We got another star for more diamonds. Um, I kind of want to check this first, I think. Who knows? Maybe there's another star in here. We got a Fool, which gives us the Hermit. Lovely. Um, I might want to get rid of this Justice right about now, just because it's going gonna, it's gonna to hamper us. Do I need to convert something? Oh, wait. Whoops, I forgot about the Fool. Ah, you can tally a mistake for me here, then. So now the Fool's going to copy Justice instead, which I don't really want. I think we could say. So I guess I will just simply wild the Queen instead. Yeah. If we did the Fool first, then we wouldn't have been able to use Justice here, of course. Let's go ahead and use the Lovers then here on the Queen. It's not a big deal, though. We're definitely going to take the Star. Pick that up for now. So now we have so much money that we can open standard packs pretty comfortably. Especially with Hallucination to help us, right? Ah ha ho ho, baby. So, red seals. Retrigger this card one time. This is super powerful, especially for endless. Is it mandatory in order to beat anti eight? Absolutely not. 
you got the cash to spend, then absolutely go for it. We're going to want the queen over the seven for pretty simple reasons, but also face cards tend to work better in general. They have better synergies, and there's some really late game stuff that could definitely help us out there. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's roll since we got the dough. Retrigger each play two, three, four, or five. Pretty strong joker, but you kind of got to gotta have the, jet, the deck for it to even consider it. And I don't think we do. Banner's back again. Yeah, you know, hack doesn't really make a ton of sense for us here. Well, again, Space Joker, one in four chance to upgrade level of played poker hand. One in four is just too low. It's too low. There is a Joker that upgrades the chances of that, and then it's maybe worth it. But I think one in four is just too low of a chance to really make this Joker worthwhile. Level up high card. Um, It's not terrible. You might want to take it for $3. I don't think we'll really end up playing a lot of high cards here, though. So let's just go ahead and skip. <clears throat> Plus 100 chips if you play a straight. No business card. Mm, still going to say no to that one. Probably one more roll here. Walkie Talkie and Venus. No, thank you. Next hand, we can only play one. Okay. We can go ahead and avoid uh, discarding. I will probably just play the Jack. I'm not actually worried about losing here per se. Now you, you might notice like I have a straight flush here kind of don't care though <laughs> I kind of don't care I mean we can play a straight flush it's not really worth more than a flush I don't know I guess arguably is 20 chips worth more than two malt I guess so a little bit it's kind of just not a big deal though and there is something to be said you kind of want your most played hand you you kind of want something like the flush to remain your most played hands for a few reasons namely for a specific voucher so there's sort of a reason to play a flush here instead. There's actually an, a boss reason to not play a flush here as well, though, because there's a boss that will target your most played hand. But flushes are probably going to become the most played hand either way. That's a really roundabout way of discussing that, wasn't it? I don't think we need to play the glass card. I kind of don't want to play the glass card because I don't want it to break. I think we're very safe in simply doing this. No discards necessary. We do have a lot of diamonds in the deck. Misprint's a pretty weak joker we're looking to replace in the short term. Uh, that's sort of what we're thinking about right now. The Fool will give us another star. You can look at the deck now. We have 26 diamonds. So we have converted quite a bit already. I am pleased by this. Things are going quite smoothly now. Let's go ahead and take this. I'm going to have to sell the sun, though, in case Hallucination helps us out here. Now let's open the Arcana pack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so we got a little lucky. <laughs> we got a little bit lucky. The soul creates a legendary joker. Uh, it's random chance. It can happen in a spectral pack. It can happen in a tarot pack. It happened in a tarot pack, which if I remember correctly, is a 0.3% chance. The thing is, not all the legendaries are poggers, as they say. Some of them are okay. Some of them are mediocre even. Obviously, we're going to do it, though. Obviously, we're going to do it. I'm going to say Golden Joker, $4 a round is probably not enough. I actually feel like Hallucination is worth more than that, weirdly. Um, we do want to use Star if possible here, though, I guess, first. I think we'll just use it on all three of these. We'll go ahead and throw Steel on this King. Steel enhances one selected card. Times 1.5 Molt while this card stays in hand. Now, remember when I talked about the scoring order. So it goes the cards you played, then the stuff in hand, then the jokers up top. So steel might sound very strong, and it can be strong, but it really depends. Um, so this is going to happen after the score, but it's going to happen before, like, uh, misprint and ramen, which is kind of bad a lot of the times. Nevertheless, you know, of course we're going to use this, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead. Drop that on there. There's another reason there's some very nice jokers that could actually help uh, with Steel and Kings in particular in the future. So that, what do we got? We got Yorick times five molt only after using 23 discards. Discards left 23. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So there we go. It's, it's an okay legendary, I would say. It's actually probably a good one for this video because there are some that are just like super advanced. <laughs> this is kind of a good vanilla one. There's no like tricks or anything to it. You get times five. You just got to spend, you just got to, you got to have the time to make it happen, though. It does mean ramen is going to lose its value very quickly. 
Fortune Teller is plus 19 Molt already, and it's only going to get higher. Seems like a good time to get rid of Misprint. I know Rama's about to go down because of Yorick, but that's kind of okay. We can actually just simply discard one card also, so Rama doesn't go down too fast. Now, we are missing some economy, and that's probably what I would replace Hallucination with. Maybe Greedy Joker kind of depends. You know, and th this is not the right economy, though, I think. Plus one hand size, plus 100 chips for a straight. No, we're not also not interested in that voucher. We got the economy tag coming up. Decreased level of played poker hand. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is, I guess you got to say. I think we can safely just discard one card here, and then we simply play a flush. I don't think we need to think much harder about that. Oh, whoops, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. I was supposed to discard three single cards for Yorick. <laughs> I got carried away, though. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm back. I'm focused. I'm ready. Sexual tension is alleviated. Okay, Stencil. It's kind of a trap joker most of the time. Times one molt for each empty joker slot. Obviously bad here. Just don't like it in general. I know times molt is very strong, but this is not one that really makes sense most of the time. Now, banana. The banana. The banana. You might say that's bad. It's going to die. Our poor banana going straight into the bin it's going to be all brown and mushy and that's good we want that to happen because when gross michelle gets destroyed via this one in four chance uh you have a chance of being offered the cavendish joker which is also common which is good and it simply multiplies your molt by three it's a times three multiple with a one in one thousand chance of getting destroyed i don't know if i can quickly find it for you there's banana there's our Cavendish. There you go. Times three molt, one in 1,000 chance to get destroyed. It's so strong. It's ridiculously strong. So we want to take it because we want to destroy it, actually. So we want to open the buffoon packs first. We'll see what we get. We also want hallucination potentially trigger here. But we want to check these. Could get some good stuff. Mr. Bones prevents death if chips scored are at least 25% of required chips. Self-destructs, not very good. Walkie talkie, also not very good. But I want to keep hallucination here. Do we want to keep hallucination? I kind of do. I want to replace it with economy. But for now, I think we don't need the score from something like Greedy Joker here. Fortune Teller is going to surpass it very quickly. This is uncommon, so we're going to take it just so that we can sell it. Just That's the only reason why here. Okay, so we're going to sell that. Splash is a common. It's not very good or useful. Luchador, sell this card to disable the current boss blind. We'll take it. Probably not going to use it. Probably just going to sell it early. Go ahead and use the Priestess here. Neptune for straight flush, Mars for four of a kind. I'm going to sell the straight flush because we're that's just not going to happen, really. I'm going to use four of a kind. That could kind of happen in the future. Yeah, we kind of we want to take the banana. We don't need Luchador, I hope. Did I look at the boss? We did look at the boss. Did I remember the boss? I did not remember the boss. I guess I don't really want to roll here too badly. Let's throw out one roll here. I was looking for money, basically. Ways to earn money, replace hallucination. Hmm. We want to use all of our discards. $40 is a lot of money. Hmm. It is tempting to not skip here, I guess is what I'm thinking out loud. I guess I'm going to skip, though. I think we'll be okay. So remember to use our discards. We're just going to discard one card at a time because we do already have a flush. We might have to play a couple of hands here. I don't know. We do have a flush. There we go. It'll probably take a couple of hands. It did D-level the flush. I don't think there was really much we could do about that, though. It is what it is. So now we can avoid playing a flush. We don't actually have to play diamonds because we don't have Greedy Joker anymore, right? We can avoid playing a flush. That way it won't get D-leveled. Instead, we can play a full house. It should be worth plenty. Just to get a thousand more, right? Okay, York is on the way. Everything's looking fine and dandy. The tower enhances one selected card into a stone card. We're not really interested in that. Uh, stone cards are just not amazing, I would say, most of the time. We do still have Hallucination. Plus 100 chips if played hand contains three of a kind. Pretty weak. Let's open the Celestial Pack first, see if Hallucination pops. Did not, but we did get the bonus, the Flush. That is lovely. We will look at that in a sec. Let's take a look here first, though. Smear Joker is back. Driver's License is interesting here. Times three multiplier if you have at least 16 enhanced cards in your full deck. We are quite close to that. 
we could consider replacing ramen for this but we're going to struggle in the moment if we don't immediately get up to that 16. you could replace hallucination and then plan to, to replace ramen with a an economy card later on I think I'm kind of okay with this. Driver's license is not always good. I mean, if it's already up and running, then that's fine, right? But it could be tough. It, this is actually a reason to buy the tower because that is an enhancement. So we're going to have to go ahead and buy that. Tarot Merchant. Tarot cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. This is a usually a nice voucher to get because you kind of just want a lot of tarot cards like we've been talking about. However, it does mean that you see fewer jokers in the shop. Your jokers means that it's going to be harder to get the good jokers or to see jokers that you desire right i think it's correct in this instance we're mostly focused on winning anti-8 whoa this is interesting <clears throat> it's negative so that means it does not take a joker slot plus one hand size all cards are considered face cards currently does not help us in any shape or form as far as i can tell we do not know what the next boss is. There are some bosses that debuff face cards. I think it's fine to take this, though. Now, you might say, if if it's not going to help you, why would you spend $10 on it? I think it comes back to temperance a little bit. You know, sell value is worth something. You can sell this for $5 later down the line, too, if you want it. And who knows? Maybe it will help us at some point in time. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Judgment gives you a random joker strength hmm random joker i want the banana to die to try to get cavendish i don't think i'm interested in a totally random joker i will take strength here though which means it's time to go since our consumable slots are full we'd like to try to get all the same card first hand is drawn face down yeah if we're if if it's possible we'd like to utilize strength so that we have like all kings or queens you know face cards are usually the way to go reels the next shop start at zero initial cards and booster packs the next shop are free that's not a bad skip, but I don't think I want to here. I don't think I want to. Okay, so there's a red sealed queen. So there's a good reason to go for kings in particular. There's like one, uh, there's one legendary joker, which I'm sure we're not going to get this, this round now, right? Uh, that gets empowered by kings and queens. There's also a joker called Baron that specific specifically requires you to hold kings in your hand, which is incredibly powerful too. So if you're going to aim for one particular card and you don't really care which one it is or anything, kings are the way to go. So converting a couple of cards into, into kings here sounds pretty strong. We'll convert this card into stone because we kind of just don't care about it. We don't really want to convert diamonds at this point in time. Okay, so now we get to spend our three discards here to try to get York. We're not going to use the stone card. We can go ahead and discard it okay so now we can go ahead and play all this to get a flush the order does not matter as far as i can tell york still has 16 discards left we'd love to put an empowerment on this since it's red sealed it would be very helpful to us so that's pretty good considering driver's license in york does nothing right now right that's not bad Ooh, empress is going to help us out to get the driver's license let's buy that this is not a very good joker and actually it's probably not a bad idea to roll before you open up their kind pack to see if you can get other cards that will put enhancement on whatever is in the arcana pack right photograph first played face card gives times to multiple scored not very good because it happens before most other effects squash buckler as the sale value of all owned jokers left to this card to the molt would definitely not be very strong in this instance might technically be better than banana partially because of pareidolia but yeah definitely not good no synergies or anything like that probably just one more roll here blue joker is not horrible it's actually pretty decent gives you a good number of chips without much effort um but it's not better than anything that we have here devious joker plus 100 chips no thank you okay let's just crack this now then so let's definitely use our empress on some diamonds for now i think we're probably just going to use emperor after that chariot justice and lovers these all are enhancements but emperor could give us even more than that so these are just one card each you know let's use up our empress also emperor will help scale fortune teller more Ooh, whoa 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 okay <clears throat> whoa 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 we like that right Let's go ahead and use the Fool. 
I mean, I like the money. You could have used Hermit and then the Fool, but I think I wanted the Emperor here to try to get Driver's License going. So let's use that. Then let's use uh, Hermit. Then you use, let's use the Emperor. Wow. And then you let's use Hermit. <laughs> so we got a lot of money and we got a hero and we're very close for driver's license in fact i bet by opening this there are some enhanced cards here there's only one diamond um i don't love blue sealed creates a planet card if this card is held in hand at the end of the round i'll select that i think i'm gonna skip the rest i think we're not interested so now uh driver's license is gonna be up after we use that hero you can probably roll one more time. Each face card held in hand has a one in two chance to give one dollar. Yeah, I don't, I don't love it in this instance. Oh wait, synergy, synergy. Now that driver's license is going to be up, I think we can afford to sell ramen. Paradolia, all cards are considered face cards. Also, smiley face technically here too, but I don't think we need it. So every card held in hand has a chance to give us one dollar then wait did i have business card offered earlier i don't know let's take it okay that's kind of this that's kind of fun actually i like that all right let's throw one more roll yeah sure we'll take another chariot okay we're not gonna skip for the free stuff i don't think we need it i'd rather play i think here um we do want to use our discards we don't have ramen anymore so i can discard freely Let's see, go ahead and use hero on these. That's fine. Let's see if we can do better with chariot and get see another king or something here. Didn't happen. Oh, whoops, I had one more discard. You can go ahead and tally a mistake for me. It wasn't the right king anyway. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's good enough, really. Order of these does not matter, as far as I can tell. The only problem with reserve parking is that we have to play five cards for a flush the, the banana's gone cavendish can't appear we're well ahead of our score though right <clears throat> the moon converts up to three selected cards of clubs not interested we can go ahead and use judgment just to see what it gives us green joker plus one mult per hand played minus one per discard it's it's bad i, don't, I do not like green joker i guess you leave it in inventory while you look at this mega buffoon pack in case it were to appear in the mega buffoon pack right oh we got some interesting stuff here to say the least go ahead and sell green joker now okay first up burglar when blind is selected gain plus three hands lose all discards the thing is we can't take it because of york it's normally a very strong joker but we got to get york up and running and yeah it is so it, you just can't do it right i'm gonna skip over this one for now photograph we've seen shoot the moon we've seen this round so oops all sixes doubles all listed probabilities one and three goes to two and three which means one and two from reserved parking goes to two and two, a hundred percent chance from reserved parking. I mean, are we going to keep it forever? Probably not. So we're going to take burglar first so we can just sell it right afterwards and take oops, blah, 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 blah. So we kind of got like two weird utilities going on here. All right, check the standard pack. We got lots of money. Another red sealed queen, a purple sealed card. I like creates a tarot card when discarded. Yeah. I think this is worth adding to the deck, even though the card itself we never really want to play. It's not desirable. A Red Sealed Queen is quite desirable, but it's the wrong suit. And I think we'll be okay. I think I'd rather actually have this. You know? There's some strong, uh, there's definitely some strong cards out there. Do I need to make more enhanced cards, really, from the tower? I don't think so. Temperance gives us $26. I love you. Uh, Judgment. We don't have the space for it. We're going to go and pass. There is Cavendish. Okay. Times three molt. Huh. Driver's license is given us times three. So we have to ask ourselves. This combo here is fun. But can we really do it? Does oops help anything besides this? It does help the lucky cards. But that's about it. It hurts the glass cards. We got like two or three playable lucky cards it looks looks like two ish i'm afraid it's gonna have to be oops that goes but we are way ahead of our score at this point in time since we get you know all of the mult from playing the hand itself then fortune teller adds 32 and then driver's license multiplies that by three and then cavendish multiplies that by three and soon york will be multiplying all that by times five 
I could buy the moon here and use it just for fortune teller. Hard to say, but for $3, it's probably worth it. Same thing with the devil. We'll earn our money back here. Plus $3, so this card is held in hand at the end of the round. I guess we want to put it on a face card if possible. Okay, so first hand is drawn face down. Here's a little tip. The cards will be in order what you see here. If Assuming you sort it by suit in this instance. Spades will be on the left, then hearts, then clubs, so diamonds will always be on the right. We're just going to discard everything on the left side then, in this instance. And kind of see what we get here. Okay. Lovely. I'm just going to go ahead and use the moon and discard it, basically. I'm going to assume that this one's a diamond. I guess I don't actually know. I guess I'll actually go ahead and discard all of that. You know what? What do you think? Is that a diamond? I don't know. Let's see. Devil is still here. We want to use all of our discards. I'm actually going to throw the devil on a diamond because we don't really want to discard diamonds, right? I guess I'm going to play that. Could be the glass jack or something. I don't know. Uh, we don't want to discard diamonds. You might say, maybe you should put on a card that you'll never want to play. Eh, this is a card that we hold just in case, though, right? But that way, you don't want to discard it, you know? I hope that makes sense. What do we got? We got the ace. We did not get that glass jack. There we go. We are well ahead of our score. Cavendish certainly won't self-destruct. Reserve parking is not the best economy here, for sure. You can go in and buy Jupiter and use that for more flush power. Ice cream, plus 100 chips, minus 5 for every hand played. Not horrible, but we don't need it. Sounds good. More flush power. Sounds amazing. What do we got in here? An empowered six of dimes. Is that what we really want? I don't know. It's okay. It has plus 30 chips on it, basically. It's okay. Not amazing. I think I'm just going to skip it. Cone, foil, holographic, polychrome cards are appear two times more often. Talking about jokers here. It's okay. It's actually one of the rougher vouchers. I don't think it's that good, honestly. Um, Because typically you already have the jokers you want half the time when you take it. Number two, it actually hurts the ability to see negative jokers, which is already incredibly low, admittedly. Going to roll past that, I think. Go ahead. Stuntman, plus 300 chips, minus 2 hand size. Definitely not good for us, but it's actually a very strong joker otherwise. Black 4, times 3 multi, if all cards held in hand are spades or clubs. Normally very strong, but when we have a deck full of diamonds, I don't think it's correct. One more roll here. Flower part, times 3 multi, if played hand has all the different suits. Definitely not good in almost any circumstance. I can't think of one where it's very useful. I guess I will go ahead and use this. One more roll. We got another magician, that sounds good. Astronomer, all planet cards and celestial packs in the shop are free. I don't I don't like that one. It sounds okay, but I don't like it. Base chips and molt are halved. I don't think we really have to worry about that. That's not too painful. Plus $22 if we skip, plus $40 if we skip there. Let's not skip this one, even though it is a lot of money. I don't think we need to. We have to use all of our discards. Go ahead and discard all of that, I guess, for now. Uh, I should probably discard a bit more. Because we do have a purple sealed card in the deck. Actually, I shouldn't have discarded everything that I did there. <laughs> we want to play... I guess I'll play the glass card. I hope it doesn't break, though. We were hoping to draw the purple sealed card so that we could discard it for an extra tarot card. But this is fine. Please don't break my glass card. I gotta... I probably have not been paying attention to Paradolia, I'm gonna admit. York is still not on. I might have missed some synergies. It doesn't help us shoot the moon. Three dollars for plus one on fortune teller. I think it's okay. Fortune teller is an extremely strong common joker, I think. Ooh, death is always going to be helpful. I'm just going to use the world here on something just to get plus one on fortune teller. Death is definitely very nice. Not really interested in judgment or hero. So death will allow us to convert the left card into the right card. So another ace of diamonds that also has molt on it. Very strong. It'll multi it'll um it'll duplicate any effects that the card has. Steel, if it has seals on it, if it has an, an addition on it, anything and everything that card has, it will attain it when using death here. Alright, let's just go with that for now though. We will check the standard pack, I suppose. 
We're going to be pretty picky about it, though. Nope. One roll. Mm. The trio times three multiplayed hand contains a three of a kind. Normally a very strong joker, but kind of not here when we're all in on the flushes, right? Obelisk times plus times point two molt per consecutive hand played without playing your most played poker hand. You would only take obelisk under the condition that you know you're never going to play your most played hand again, and it would have to already be kind of high. 10 is not super high, but could technically be enough. If we somehow knew we were going to convert into playing four of a kind a lot, then we could consider taking it, but this is not that time. Obelisk is kind of a tough, a rough joker to take, I think. I'm not going to take the economy tag here. I think I'd rather see the shop at this point in time. Get more stuff out of it. We got to use our discards. Do not let me forget. I'm looking for the luckies, basically. Whatever we can there. Lovely. Three, four, five. That's fine. Okay, York still has four left, and then obviously we're going to be very far ahead. Business card, I'd probably prefer to reserve parking. We're already at 102,000 score. Actually, I think it was even higher in another round for whatever the reason. Wheel of Fortune, one in four chance to add foil a graphic polychrome addition to a random joker. Worth it when we have fortune teller at least. Most of the time, probably not though. One in four does not feel like one in four. <laughs> Celestial pack is going to be worth it here. We have enough money for it. We're still just going to keep going for blushes though. I don't think that mega standard pack is really worth it now. Once you have like one red seal in the deck, you don't really want to fish for a more. You'd instead, you'd rather duplicate it using tarot cards if possible. So let's roll here. Red card. Nope. We'll go ahead and take hero. We can throw it on some stuff. Let us go. York is not going to be up this round yet. It's okay though. Let's go ahead and discard all of this. Yeah, yeah, we'll discard the king. Discard all of that. Discard just these two, I'm going to say now. And then we're going to use hero on these two. Did that make sense? Was Were any of those discards weird to you? Are you questioning any of them? This way we have everything empowered. We held all the diamonds. I'm holding the seal. I'm holding two gold cards. Sort of what I'm thinking about the whole time. We have one more discard for York to pop off. Now, obviously, you're not always going to get something like Yorick in your runs. In fact, it's going to be incredibly rare for that to happen. So how do you win without Yorick? Well, we don't have Yorick actually active yet anyway. And you can see where our score has gone, and it's it's going quite well already. So even if we didn't have Yorick, we could have something else there that possibly pulls some weight. We, For instance, if we got offered the trio, and we could have that instead right now, and try to start aiming for having three of a kind in each played hand. Which isn't crazy when we have four or five diamond kings, you know? Okay, I do love overstock. Plus one card slot available in shop. Possibly one of the best jokers. Jokers? Vouchers, I should say. We don't need this for to find power straights. It's totally useless to us. Matador, earn $8 of played hand. Triggers the boss blind ability. Don't think I'm interested in that. Let's go ahead and roll it once. Do we want business card? Instead, I'm playing five cards. And we're holding four cards. Oh, yeah, it's strictly better than reserve parking in this instance. There's a one in two chance of getting $2 out of for five cards versus $1 for four cards. Right? Strictly better. Strictly better, I said. Oh, my stars and stripes. Okay. So we're, we're obviously going to buy the Hermit. You might be wondering what I'm doing with Uranus. I guess we're going to open the Sole... No, let's open the Arcana pack first, because I did just use the Hermit. That way, if the Fool is here, we could potentially make use of that. Temperance gives us $25. It's either that or we Emperor. Hmm. $25 or an Emperor. Kind of tough here. Um... I think I'm going to take Temperance. You know why? Because it's time for Fortune Teller to go. You might say, you're crazy. He's lost it. He's lost his marble. That's doing. That's getting most of your molt. But York is about to be online, so we'll be fine. It is a big loss. It's not a small loss, because we need to take Invisible Joker. After three rounds, sell this card to duplicate a random Joker. It's a dangerous Joker, right? It could duplicate any effect. Hopefully, it does not duplicate Pareidolia on us. 
In fact, we might have to change things so that to make sure it does not duplicate Pareidolia. But yeah, I kind of want the money from business card for now. It's a lot. I think we need it. Whereas we don't necessarily need the score from Fortune Teller. And this is where a lot of the balance of Bellatro comes into play. Um, and you need to know how much score do you need versus how much economy that you need. You need to balance those two things at all times. I believe we'll be okay by simply doing this though. I guess I'm going to do four of a kind. I know I haven't played a single four of a kind, but that's okay. Lucky Cat. It's actually not terrible, especially since I did semi-focus on lucky cards, but it's not amazing here, I think we can say. We don't need to level up Full House, and we don't want Splash. That's for Spades, no thank you. Ice Cream is a no thank you. Judgment is a no thank you. Kind of just looking for tarot cards here a bit. Like this, you know. These are not very good. Okay. There we go. So we got to wait on the Invisible Joker. We're hoping it duplicates. Honestly, I'll be happy with any of these three on the right side here. Let us go. Must play five cards coming up. You got it, Chief. We're not going to skip for a Mega Standard Pack. Not interested. Okay, we did get that. Let's sell this. Just hard discard here. We got the Fool, which is not amazing since it gives us Mars. Let's throw a Devil out here. In fact, I don't think I really want it even for... York is online, by the way. I don't think I want it for the Devil. Do I? Let's discard a bit more here. Maybe I do. Do I? Maybe I do. Do I? Three dollars. All right, I see enough enhanced cards now. York is going. Let's go, 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 basically. It might not be that big of an improvement since we recently lost... What's its name? 325,000. Fortune Teller. Which was adding quite a bit. But we'll definitely be okay. And we're, we just need the time for Invisible Joker to start kicking off. You know what I mean? Because once we sell that, we are hoping to duplicate one of these. If it doesn't happen, I guess it doesn't happen, right? Speaking of Fortune Teller, right? So let's see. Let's go ahead and buy and use the Hermit. Let's buy and hold Star. And then let's open the Arcana Pack. We got Hermit. We got the Fool. We got it all, baby. We can't make more Kings with that strength, unfortunately. I would consider. Let's go ahead and use Star on all of this. No problemo. Then let's use the Hermit. Then let's use the Fool for another Hermit. Lovely. Then let's use the Hermit. Then let's roll. <laughs> Earn $5 if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. Okay, then. Remember, Paradolia. All cards are considered face cards. So anytime I discard three or more cards, I will earn $5. $5? $5. So it's $15 per round. It should be more than what business card gives us. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I love it. I'm in love with it. Give me a magician. That sounds lovely also. Emperor is also nice. Kind of wish I didn't roll and look at these. <laughs> I don't think we need star anymore. We got a lot of diamonds in the deck. In fact, we might not want it to some degree. For the purpose of the bosses. You gotta be safe. You gotta be safe for those bosses. We haven't actually run into a situation where the bosses were particularly scary. Skipping for a spectral pack? I don't think that's necessary at all for us. Especially now that we need the Invisible Joker to, to pop. If you skip, then you're skipping time that you could have had with the Invisible Joker going. It's not gonna count it up, I guess that you could say. Okay, remember we gotta discard three cards. At least here... That's fine. One, two, three, four. I guess we got to play the Jack then too so that we can hold the two gold cards. And that's fine and Danny like sour candy. I think the Lucky triggered there to give us some money. Oh no, my Glass Jack. Sad day. Sad day indeed. So if uh, this Invisible Joker were to target Paradolia, the copy would not be negative. So even if it was negative, we'd still sell it, I guess, because two copies of Paradilia doesn't do anything, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, Vagabond, very strong Joker, but we don't need it because we have lots of cash, and I do not want to spend that much of it. We'll buy Justice for reasons that we discussed earlier, really, so that when we roll the shop, we will not be offered more Justice in the shop, and so that it won't appear in the Arcana pack. I don't really care about using Justice right now, but it is still worth doing for that. Now, we're kind of waiting for Invisible Joker to happen. So I'm not really in a big rush to 
to find something else. Card Drop is a very decent Joker. Shoot the Moon is sometimes okay, not particularly good here. Acrobat is mediocre. Showman is interesting, not super useful in this particular instance at this time. Just very conditional, I guess you could say. Very, very strange Joker, this one. I'd say most of the time, if you're still learning the game, you really don't need to think about this Joker. It's actually quite awful the majority of the times, so making those things appear more than once. Namely, like planet cards, tarot cards, and stuff. None of the stuff, good, basically. None of it is good. So I think we can go ahead and skip that. Let's roll first. Yeah, we'll pick up the star. That way we can use it when we open this Arcana pack. We got another Hermit. Lovely. Star. Do I want to justice a king? A red sealed king, so the glass will actually trigger twice because of the red seal. The thing is, what if it breaks? You know what? Let's do it anyway. Who knows? Who knows? And we're going to use the Hermit here. Actually, we could get some more kings out of this. One more king to be precise. At this point in time, considering how much money we do have, I think I'm kind of okay with that. We're kind of, I'm kind of planning for endless for later on a little bit here. Another strength. I think I will take that then. Um, Wheel of Fortune will go ahead and try to use. Nothing, of course. We'll not use Pluto. So let's use Wheel of Fortune first. Still nope. Use Hermit second in case we run into the Fool. That way the Fool will copy Hermit. Pluto will not leave me alone. You're not even a planet anymore, Pluto. What did I just tell you? All right, the Fool for more Hermit. Things are getting a bit pricey now, so I think it's time to go. Must play five cards, no problemo. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's convert this... Mm, let's not convert the King into steel. Let's go ahead and throw it on the nine. Then we're, we're going to discard as much as possible here. Okay, lovely. I'm looking for things to strength if possible. Let's use our magician over here. We don't need the steel. I want to hold the lucky though, I guess. I guess I might want to strength the jack as a last resort. All right, let's discard all of that. Let's also discard all of this. Final discard. Didn't really get much here. All right, I guess we're just going to go ahead and use the strength here then. Unfortunately, not a great hand to end it on here, but that's okay. It'll score, still score more than enough, I'm sure of it. Order shouldn't matter here in this particular instance. It only matters if you're playing a glass card, really. You want the glass to be on the far right, because if you have cards that have molt on it, plus four molt, you want to make sure that molt gets added before the glass doubles it. Okay, Invisible Joker is ready. She's ready to pop out here. Now, in order to make sure it doesn't hurt us, you would normally want to sell probably Faceless Joker and probably Paradolia. Possibly even considering selling something like Driver's License, but I don't think we need to in this circumstance here. I think that is the correct play to sell these two, but it's kind of anti-fun considering it's actually quite a bit of money. $15 every round is not bad. So why don't we just take the gamble? Obviously we want it to hit York if possible. And I am totally trusting that's gonna happen. Yo! <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh wait, I just started doing things. I just started doing things. Yep, double York. It looks like uh, they're both active too. That's lovely. I bought lovers. I bought a voucher there. Sorry, that voucher allows us to reroll the boss one time per that is very useful when we have a lot of money probably if you can't if you don't have a lot of money it's kind of hard to afford it honestly let's crack these celestial packs still mostly just looking for flushes there's actually some good reasons to simply not take any of these and that is mostly because of the fool which could copy the last tarot or planet card you use i never plan to play those hands as far as i can tell same thing here Two pairs straight in full house. I never plan to play those. So upgrading them does does next more than nothing in the sense that it does even less than nothing. I'm going by the Hermit. Raise Fist, no thank you. To-do list, no thank you. Empress is useful. Shoot the moon, not useful. The moon, not useful. Maybe one more roll. Onyx Agate, no. The castle is kind of an interesting one, but not in this circumstance here. We're looking pretty good. 
We do have a lot more money, so I guess I could have done more. As one voucher to the next shop. Okay, the shop. One random joker disabled every hand. We should be fine. We can tackle that. We don't need to roll it. Um, That's where the reroll button is, by the way. As one voucher to the next shop. Um, It's possible. There's a lot of vouchers you don't want. You know? There's definitely some that we could get that could be useful. I'm going to do it for fun, though. I think, kind of. Skip for the next base edition shop. Joker becomes holographic. No, these are pretty much never worth it. Worth it. There's some that they guarantee the holographic and they guarantee the polychrome. The, those are never worth skipping for, I think. I don't know if I really covered that. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Got to make sure we at least discard three cards at a time. Let's start there. We have like nothing left to empower. I'm quickly realizing. <laughs> You know, interesting place to be in, I guess. I'm trying to get some stuff. Here we go. Lovely. We still got to use one more discard, though. I don't know why I like to play lucky cards so much. I probably shouldn't like to play them so much. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. There's the king. So, I mean, we could get a big score here from it. But why don't we try to hold it out? Because I guess we'd want to duplicate this card if possible. If we're given the opportunity. Order shouldn't matter here. We got double Yorick. We have big score. 1.9 million. Boom. We have big score. We have big money. Everything's looking up. Okay, that's bad though. Planet cards appear two times, two times more frequently in the shop. It's not good, right? We don't really want more random planet cards. It's not going to help us. We will take Hangman. Try to destroy us some cards. I think we're down for that. Let's check this out. Nothing. Don't want any of those. Check the standard pack. Probably didn't need to. A holographic jack. I think I'm willing to add that to the deck. It was also a wild or a diamond or something like that. Hyro. We're seeing that there's not much left to empower. So I don't think it's really worth buying Hyro. Which gives plus 30 chips per. Shoot the moon is a big pass. It would only give us an extra $5 per round. Faceless does a lot more than that. No to even Steven. No to Riffraff. No to Superposition. The fool hits Empress. We also got another justice here for more glass. I think I will take the fool, but I'm not going to use it yet. Give you one more roll. We got another flush planet card. That's lovely. No judgment. No judgment in this video. One random joker disabled every hand. We are coming to an end. One York is down. Oh no. What will I do? I am devastated. Let's use the hanged man. Destroy a couple cards. Let's spawn another one. But first, let's discard... Make sure we get our money from that. Wow. Uh, just a fun looking hand, I gotta say. Uh, oh, wait, there are cards to destroy here. Uh, destroying queens is not ideal, I guess, but whatever. Okay, lovely. We will discard the seven. We will play the chariot, because why not? So we used all of our discards to get all the money here. And we're going to go out with a bang. Let us use... Everything that gives us molt here. And then we shall use our Glass King. Although one York is disabled, so it's not that big of a bang, to be honest here. But this is going to be the end of Anti-8. Let's see how we do. And there we go. 1.7 million. Luckily, the King did not break. That is the end of the run. Anti-8 is done. I hope I was helpful to you. Of course, Endless Mode could begin now. If you want to see that and have us discuss more advanced tactics and sort of how we're going to go about it and how we'd want to get as far as possible and endless make sure you let me know in the comments i hope i was somehow helpful though balatra was an amazing game i hope that you all learn to love it as much as i have hope you play it if you got questions make sure you let me know if i glossed over anything make sure you let me know like comment subscribe you know the dezeal and i'll see you in the next video